Are you still interested in the MCU, but you don't want to have to do the pesky work of watching the mediocre trash they're releasing on Disney Plus? Well, that's where I come in. I've been walking down that old dusty witch's road week after week to give you little recaps of what's been going on. And what, pray tell, is episode 7 dealing up for us? Just a little bit of tarot. That's right, the challenge this week is all about reading those cards. I'm going to talk about it in a spoiler-filled episode. Let's begin. Down that witch is... You know what the song wasn't in this episode? Kind of a rarity. I was, I was alright with it. But as the episode started to wind down, I yearned for the song. I was almost reaching out, like, come back to me. But it didn't. Alas, what we have here are the two witches that are still alive. Agatha and Teen. A.K.A. Billy. A.K.A. William. A.K.A. Wiccan? I thought a male witch was called a Wiccan, but they still call him a witch. It's hard to keep track of anything these days. Agatha and B-Town are squaring up for their next challenge, heading into a giant castle looming in the distance. Once inside, they're going to find a table, a tarot table, with a bunch of cards. Their goal, to read those cards and complete the challenge, which is to read the cards, I guess, or something. Making matters worse, there is a ceiling full of swords that's lowering slowly onto them. <laughs> How are they possibly going to get out of this one, Indy? Don't worry, they got back up. Jennifer and Lily are back in the picture. They just fell down into a crappy low-effort set with a bunch of giant piss-colored yellow vines running along the caverns. After about five minutes straight of Catherine Hahn pursing the lips and holding the arms out to her sides, hmm... Looks like I need to read your cards. You know what? Let's just do them all at once. I don't have time for this. It's a game of odds. Oh yeah, I should point that out. She's a witch in this one from The Wizard of Oz. So who the heck is the teen boy going to be? The Scarecrow? The Lion? The great and all-powerful Wizard of Oz himself? Uh, no, he's going to be Maleficent. Gonna, gonna go ahead and be Maleficent for this one. This has been a long time coming, but I have to put it out there now. I need to say my piece. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate about it. I know people are going to be pissed, but it needs to be said. I cannot stand what Disney has been doing these last few years. A company that prides itself on family values. A company that has millions of children watching their content all the time, all over the world. And they think it's okay to normalize Villains as heroes. It's disgusting. It's despicable. I won't have it. They did it a couple years ago with that Cruella de Vil movie, a film celebrating this character in a prequel story. This woman skins little puppies for fur coats. There's no coming back from that. And then we have Maleficent. She gets two films where she's kind of this anti-hero. This woman didn't get invited to a birthday party, and so she, what, puts the daughter to sleep for eternity for getting snubbed one time? Give me a break. This woman's trash. And But here we have Billy, dressed up as Maleficent, celebrating, loving how he looks as the character. It is absolutely appalling! Shame on you, Disney. Shame on you. I said it. I, it had to be said. I know I'm going to get a lot of pushback for it, but, um... Yeah, uh, I just, I couldn't stay silent any longer. Some people might call me brave for this. They should. They should. I, am I a hero? Uh, yeah, I think I am. All right, let's get back to the gay witch hunt. Subscribe for office references. After a very lackluster opening couple minutes, we get to the meat of this thing, and it's going to be focused entirely on Lilia, played by Patti LaPoon. And I also want to make this very Billy Crystal clear. This was actually a pretty good episode. As far as the Agatha All Along series is concerned, this was the best one. Pretty, pretty easily for me. And I think it's because it's focusing on Lapoon's character, who's the best one of the bunch. And also, I appreciated the non-linear storytelling here. It's jumping all over the place, going to previous episodes, even adding in things we didn't see previously, to taking this character all the way back to when she was younger, first getting a tarot reading. And all of that stuff is going to add up and lead to the big reveal here, which is this is the point in time she's supposed to be at to stop the evil witches that are coming after them and to get their heroes safely along their journey. Are they heroes? I don't know. I thought they were all kind of evil witches, but whatever. We're moving along. 
That's right, the Salem 7 show back up at the end of this episode, thankfully, not a minute too soon. Because that's how long it takes Lilia to pick up the pieces of her life, fit the puzzle together, because time is fluid, it's moving all over the place, it's not just one set factory going forward. You could say Lilia's mastered the art of the weave. In previous episodes, she comes off sounding like an insane person, talking about how people are in danger, and then in the next episode saying she loves another person, and then she's talking about Hannibal Lecter. I mean, she's all over the place. But it all fit together at the end. And I think this ending is where they spent the majority of the season's budget, because we do have a truly cool shot where she takes the final tarot card and flips it on its head, causing the entire room to go upside down. The Salem Seven, who had her surrounded, is lifted off the ground, floating to their demise by the swords hanging up top. Lilia, having the wherewithal righty then to see what was gonna happen, got the other witches out of the room, but she stayed behind. She knew how this was going to play out. The cards had told her ahead of time. And so she sacrificed herself by killing those witches and having to let go, taking one for the team. You know, I kept finding myself wondering as these episodes were going, where the hell is Rio at? Uh, Aubrey Plaza's character, who just kind of come and go as she pleases, didn't really bring much to the table. Uh, well, it turns out she's death herself. She is death. That seems like an appropriate role for Albert Plaza to play. We only got a small reveal. I'm sure we're going to get a lot more in future episodes. I'll just say this. The Salem 7 really didn't put up any sort of a fight at all. Uh, almost zero threat to these people. They chased them in one episode for like a minute and then gone. A bit of a far cry from the Nazgul you see in The Lord of the Rings. Anyway, I'm grading on a curve, but this was a strong episode for sure because Patty Lapoon carried the whole damn thing on her shoulders. Again, she had likability about her, she had a mysterious past, you weren't sure where it was going, but none of these other characters I really give two shits about. She was the only one that had some genuineness to her. And so yeah, it's, it's a bummer that she's gone because she was kind of carrying the team. And so now I'm left with Billy the Kid and Fish Lips. Who the hell knows what's gonna happen next? All I know is there's only one or two episodes remaining and I can move on with my life. And there you have it, my episode seven recap. Really not much happened throughout the episode. It was just in the last few minutes that we started to see things take shape. Let me know if you watch this, if you're still watching this, what you think about this series, what you thought about the episode. And if you have any desire to continue on, please think about liking the video and subscribing. I post movie reviews, but I also cover TV shows if they're popular enough, if there's interest in them. And for some reason there's interest in this, so I'm covering it. If you love what I'm doing and you feel bad for the struggle, please think about supporting the channel on patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. I am a one-man band here putting in the work, hopefully saving a couple souls from having to sift through this shit on Disney+. Plus. And with that, I take my leave. Down that witch's road, 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 road.